Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through the daily lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we're on lesson 277. And I'll warn you, there is at least one sentence in here that does not read uh, as if it is correct, and I am reading it as it's written, so I don't know what we do with that. But um, So let me start. 277, let me not bind your son with laws I made. Your son is free, my father. Let me not imagine I have bound him with the laws I made to rule the body. He is not subject to any laws I made by which I try to make the body more secure. He is not changed by what is changeable. He is not slave to any laws of time. He is as you created him because he knows no law except the law of love. Let us not worship idols nor believe in any law idolatry would make to hide the freedom of the Son of God. He is not bound except by his beliefs, yet what he is is far beyond his faith in slavery and for, or freedom. He is free because he is his father's son. And he cannot be bound unless God's truth can lie and God can will that he will deceive himself. And we know that that's not true, right? I'll read it again. Let us not bind your son, or rather let me not bind your son with laws I made. Your son is free, my father. Let me not imagine I have bound him with the laws I have made to rule the body. He is not subject to any laws I made by which I try to make the body more secure. He is not changed by what is changeable. He is not slave to any laws of time. He is as you created him because he knows no law except the law of love. Let us not worship idols nor believe in any law idolatry would make to hide the freedom of God's son. He is not bound except by his beliefs, yet what he is is far beyond his faith in slavery and freedom. He is free because he is his father's son, and he cannot be bound unless God's truth can lie and God can will that he deceive himself. So this is an interesting lesson. Um, obviously, God cannot and will not uh, deceive himself, and God does not lie. So what this lesson is, is saying here is let's not limit our understanding of Jesus and who Jesus is and how Jesus worked. Let's not limit those ideas with our thoughts about the body or um, this third dimensional world that we're living in, don't limit ourselves in our ideas through those limitations. I don't know if that's making any sense or helping you, um, but that's what I'm getting from this lesson. There, there are no limits to Christ or Jesus. And, and he's not bound, as this lesson says, by time or space. And we aren't either because we are the same. We are as Jesus. We are each individuated aspects of God, just as Jesus is. We are love in form. And so I hope you have a good day with this today, working not to bind your son with laws that you've made. I hope that makes sense. If you need me, reach out 907-351-3003, Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, my websites, lindalamp.com, lindalamp.shop. And I'll hope to see you here tomorrow for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.